What's up everyone? Welcome back to another True Game Data video. Um, today I'm going to talk about recoil control and recoil stabilization and try to clear up some uh, misconceptions about how they work. Um, recoil control is pretty well understood for the most part, um, but recoil stabilization, a lot of people uh, don't really understand what that does. Uh, so I'm going to show you some uh, examples of how that works today and uh, try to clear it up for everybody. So I'm going to get into it. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to talk about recoil control. Uh, I'm going to show off some of my incredible Microsoft Paint skills here. So this is just kind of a, the green line is just kind of an example of like what the Ram 7 recoil looks like. It will always follow that same line where it goes up to start with and then goes left pretty hard. Um, so what recoil control does is it basically just takes that and shrinks it. So I'm going to take this, paste it, move it over here, and then what what recoil control does is it basically just takes this whole thing and just makes it smaller. So it shrinks it both left and right. So if you add recoil control, your your recoil pattern will end up looking like that. It'll just get smaller. So um, early on in the game, a lot of people thought recoil control was the vertical recoil and um, recoil stabilization was horizontal. So basically, a lot of people early on thought that all recoil control did was took this and shrunk it down vertically. Um, but now we know later on in the game after more testing and stuff that it, it actually does do both horizontal and vertical reduction. Um, and I'll explain how, or I'll explain what recoil stabilization is too a little bit later in the video, but um, just wanted to start with uh, recoil control to clear that up. Alright, I'm going to show you guys that same effect in game. So this is a Ram 7 with no attachments. I'll fire a uh, a spray pattern and then I'll go put on recoil control attachments and compare the two next to each other so you can see what it does. Alright, uh, same distance from the wall and I'm gonna fire a full magazine again. So basically, yeah, you can see exactly what I showed in, in uh, paint is true. So this is this is both shrunken vertically and horizontally. It just squishes in uh, both sides. All right, now on to the more complicated topic, which is recoil stabilization. So recoil stabilization does a couple things. One of them I'm going to talk about after this. Uh, it's a little different, a little more um, obscure. Fewer people know about it. Uh, but the main thing that you'll hear people talk about a lot is uh, reducing the horizontal bounce. So basically what that means is if you compare this left plot, which is no recoil stabilization, to the right plot, which is full recoil stabilization, um, you'll see that the the bullets are bouncing left and right of that predefined recoil line as it goes up the recoil line. Um, and then recoil stabilization will bring all of those shots closer to the main uh, predefined recoil line. So you'll see that the dots over here on the right are a lot closer to the green line as they go up uh, the recoil path. So this makes it a lot easier to hit targets at range because you can't correct for the horizontal bounce. You can correct for vertical recoil by moving your mouse or pulling your thumbstick down or whatever, but um, you can't correct for or predict uh, recoil stabilization with the horizontal bounce. So that's why it's such an important stat to, to have for long range guns. Uh, so jumping back over to the game now, I'm gonna try to show a full recoil stabilization build. Um, this one's harder to see in the actual recoil lines, but it's a lot easier to feel uh, when you're when you're in the game shooting at someone far away, you'll definitely notice on the growl or any gun, you'll notice that it bounces back and forth way more with uh, without recoil stabilization. So I'm going to try to show this here. So, I mean, you can see it kind of helped a little bit, up, especially up at the top. These lines are very, uh, very straight. Okay, uh, now on to the main reason I made this video. Um, so there's an effect with recoil stabilization that people don't really talk about. I don't know if they don't know about it or if they just don't talk about it, but um, there's something weird that goes on if you don't have recoil stabilization with certain guns. It's not with every gun, but it's one of the factors that makes um, those specific guns feel very difficult to use if you don't have recoil stabilization. So the Ram 7 is one of them. So I'm going to show here what I'm going to do is uh, fire a full magazine at the wall and try to control the recoil and then I'm going to overlay a dot in the center of my screen and what's going to happen is the whole screen is going to shift so my red dot on my sight 
is actually going to shift down to the left um, away from the center of the screen and this is an effect that um, I've never really noticed in any other FPS game and I think it's a way that they they it's something they use in this game to help balance weapons um, like it's it's the reason the Ram 7 feels so weird to use for some people and why it takes so long to get used to so I'm gonna do that recoil pattern now and then I'll do one with full aiming stability as well Alright, so what you'll see with full aiming stability uh, is that the, the dot, the red dot, will no longer shift away from the center of the screen. So recoil stabilization also um, controls how much the screen moves and how much the screen sh shakes, which I think is almost as big of an effect as the actual um, horizontal bounce that I talked about earlier. And I think it's something that people don't really know about, which is why I wanted to make this video. But anyway, I will show you guys how close the dot stays to the center of the screen with a muzzle brake and a commando uh, foregrip. It just feels so much better than it did um, without the commando and the muzzle brake, and that's again just because the screen isn't moving at all, so it, it doesn't it doesn't feel weird and distorted uh, like it does without the recoil stabilization. And there's other guns that are like this too. The SA87 does the same thing. Uh, SA87 will pull the uh, pull the dot down to the left, just like the Ram 7. Um, some of them go up. So uh, I'll show the M13, and the SA87 in this video also, but the M13 the dot, the red dot will actually shift up to the left uh, instead of down and that feels a lot more natural because you know we're used to guns kicking up so that doesn't feel as weird but there's guns like like the RAM and the SA-87 and I'm sure there are more I just haven't those are the two I've used a lot um, that that are really affected by this and it's the reason that uh, recoil stabilization feels so good on pretty much any gun Alright everybody, well I hope that I helped you understand how recoil works in this game a little bit better. Um, thanks for watching, I'm not going to ask for subs or thumbs up because you guys do that anyway because you rock, and I really appreciate the growth and all the support, it's been unbelievable. Um, I do want to remind everybody that I stream all the time over at uh, twitch.tv slash unforgivenlive. Um, I have a lot of fun playing Warzone over there, so come hang out sometime. Um, yeah, thanks again, and I'll see you all in the next one.